So hi, I'm Crystal. Um, I'm a second year in the Women's and Gender Studies program, the master's degree program. Um, I'll be reading excerpts from my thesis titled, Fresh Photos with the Bold Lighting, Visualizing the Radical Work of Fat Black Women on Instagram. The aim of my paper is to focus on how the musician Lizzo and style influencer Kelly Brown utilize visibility as a strategy of innocuous resistance against, against hegemonic perceptions about fat Black women. These perceptions for centuries have painted fat Black women as deviant, undesirable, unproductive, and unhealthy. These harmful perceptions have justified and upheld the social, political, and economic marginalization that fat Black women have been and continue to be subjected to. Lizzo and Kelly, through visibility and pleasure aesthetics, are defining themselves against dominant historical and current discourses around fat, black, femme embodiment, and proclaiming the power and multifaceted, pers multifaceted personhood that fat, black women possess. Visibility can be simply de defined as the state of being able to see or be seen, or the degree to which something has attracted general attention and prominence. Fat Black women have lived on a spectrum of visibility that ranges from marginalization and violence to freedom and resistance. Examining either end of the spectrum is essential to understanding how Fat Black femme embodiment has been defined, engaged with, and valued historically and into present day. The relationship between corpulence and Blackness became visible to modern societies by way of European theorists in the 17th and 18th centuries. These theorists promoted ideas in published literature that would go on to define the social, medical, and religious understandings of Black people. After laying eyes on the plump and well-fed natives, most theorists settled on the idea that Black Africans were lazy with a thieving, or sorry, lazy, thieving with a penchant for pleasure and fondness of gluttony, which made them slow and dim-witted. This is where the origins of racialized fat phobia in correlation between Black people and fatness lies. In this era, visibility worked as a tool by white society for the demonization of Black people and the justification for racial stratification. Sarah Bartman is the original representative of the, of the visibility of fat Black women. Known by other names such as, such as Starkey and Hot and Top Venus, Sarah was a member of the Koi Koi tribe of South Africa and was enslaved for most of her life. She drew the fascination of white Europeans because of her large buttocks and thighs which they concluded to be concurrently deviant and captivating. Throughout her life, Sarah was peddled as a spectacle throughout Europe where interested parties could pay to see her mostly naked, locked in cages alongside wild animals. When Sarah eventually died at the, age, at the young age of 26, a plaster cast was made of her body and dismembered parts of her were displayed at the Museum of Man until 1974. The entitlement to Bartman's body translates into modern forms of entitlement and consumption of fat black women today. Lizzo is a Grammy Award winning singer, rapper, and songwriter. Although she has been creating music for several years, she rose to fame in 2019 with her popular song, Truth Hurts and Juice. Her, her lyrics, music videos, and online presence are all permeated with messages about self-love, sex positivity, and the empowerment of women and people of color. With 12.5 monthly listeners on Spotify, sorry, 12.5 million monthly listeners on Spotify and 9.5 million followers on Instagram, Lizzo's influence and popularity is vast. Kelly Brown is a style influencer focused on pop body positivity and inclusive fashion, beauty, travel, and lifestyle. She owns a style community brand named And I Get Dressed that encourages people to move beyond the limitations of one's body type or size. With 134,000 Instagram followers, she is popular in her field, being featured by O Magazine, Glamour, Teen Vogue, and more. Lizzo being an international pop star with millions of fans and Kelly being a beauty and style influencer slash entrepreneur exhibit the, the diverse nature of fat femme experience. I specifically chose Lizzo and Kelly from a growing community of fat black femme influencers who are also breaking boundaries. They are in their own respective ways, not only overcoming the boundaries of cultural perception of fat black femmes, but they also differ from what the quintessential plus size body positive influences look like. Visibility can still be a negative and dangerous thing for fat black, fat black women. Being a fat person, particularly a fat black woman, means contending with people believing they have a collective knowingness about your history, character, health, and body. 
These assumptions are backed by a Western culture that has centuries worth of perceptions about acceptable body size, race, and gender. On her Twitter, Lizzo has had to withstand a seemingly endless amount of people feeling entitled to her body. Every time she would post a picture of herself or an update about her career, she was met with hateful comments like, quote, fuck them fat bitches, end quote, and quote, big fat bitch, end quote. Along with other countless memes, gifts, and statements meant to belittle and ridicule her. Although her support and love often outweigh the hate, she continued to receive hundreds of cruel comments under her teeth. On January 5th, 2020, she took a stand and decided she was no longer going to deal with the bitch all on Twitter and said, quote, yeah, I can't do this Twitter shit no more. Too many trolls. I'll be back when I feel like it, end quote. She has not returned to Twitter since making this declaration and every tweet on her account since then has been from her management team. Visibility in this context made strangers feel as though they had the right to harass Lizzo on Twitter. As a celebrity with a large following and vivacious personality, Lizzo is hyper visible. There are people that feel she is taking up too much space, corporately as a plus size woman, but also socially as someone who stands out amongst the society where their identities are deemed inferior and deviant. Twitter and the Museum of Man are both public sites of engagement that serve to exploit the hypervisibility of fat black women for the gaze of those who felt entitled to their bodies. Lizzo's refusal to engage with the platform was an exercise of autonomy that ultimately allowed her to regain control over her own narrative and embodiment. I focus on Instagram over other social media platforms because of the emphasis that is put on visual self-representation. Images and videos can be powerful tools for self-expression and communication, which I believe can be seen on Instagram the most. I argue that Lizzo and Kelly are redefining the relationship between visibility and fat black women. They are using visibility as a strategy of resistance against dominant discourses about fat black femme embodiment and ultimately refusing to reinforce fat thin undesirable, desirable, citizen, non-citizen, binary, that prop up cultural and economic assumptions that fat black women are undesirable, unhealthy, and deviant. Lizzo and Kelly practice visibility in the way they present themselves in their photos and videos. They are often captured wearing clothing and posing themselves in ways that go against traditional rules of plus size, plus size styling. These rules play into the respectability politics that dictate how much of a fat woman should be visible which is usually little to none. In plus size fashion, there are style tips that have been promoted in the industry and followed by the women who wear the clothes. Some of these tips include staying away from lighter colors, horizontal stripes, large patterns, pattern mixing, shapeless or form-fitting garments, and sleeveless tops and dresses. There are many more to choose from, but these are the main rules that you will see reflected in large scale plus size stores and catalogs like Lane Bryant, Torrid, and Woman Within. They claim that plus size women shopping for clothing should gravitate towards pieces that are A-line sil silhouettes, darker in color, not form fitting, and solid colors with little to no patterns. Ultimately, these rules bolstered by the plus size fashion industry have the goal of directing fat women to clothing that hides what society feels like they should be ashamed of, their fatness. Horizontal stripes and shapeless dresses supposedly make a fat person look bigger. It is harder to hide larger stomachs and cellulite in rolls in light colors and form-fitting clothes. Invisibilizing the physical parts of fat women that are deemed undesirable is the main goal of these rules. If fat women want to have any chance of being tolerated within this fat phobic culture, they must adhere to these rules and attempt to hide key parts of themselves. Lizzo and Kelly make no attempt to follow these rules. In fact, they both regularly don clothing on their Instagram that actively goes against them. Kelly wears stylish outfits that have bold mixed prints, bright colors, and silhouettes that are shaped with or seen in her body. In the photos here, we see Kelly, on the right, wearing a two-piece crop top outfit with a blue overcoat. The two-piece is a bold abstract print that flares out at the bottom of the pants. The pants hug her curves and her hips, and her, sorry, hug her curves around her hips and stomach, while the top is cropped to show off her midriff. Kelly is standing straight to the camera with her hands in her pockets and one leg stuck out for dimension. In this photo, like many others on her Instagram, we see Kelly showing off her full head to toe look unabashedly without any effort, effort to conceal her body. The patterns and bold colors that she wears are representative of her audacious and proud approach to self-representation. On the left, Lizzo is wearing a golden brown form-fitting bodycon dress. The velvet material clings to every part of her body and the short length leaves much of her legs revealed. 
Lizzo wears form-fitting and revealing clothing like this dress in her personal life, music, videos, and red carpets, which is apparent when looking at her profile and her images posted from a, from a variety of places and events. Just as often, abiding by Instagram's community guidelines, Lizzo posts pictures of herself in bikinis, semi-nude, or completely nude, showing off her body and revealing clothing or no clothing, clothing at all is a large portion of her pictures and videos on Instagram. She, she challenges the respectability politics that fat Black women are expected to follow and refuses to invisibilize herself for the comfort of societal beauty standards. Historically, the supposed corpulence of Black people could be explained by a tendency towards laziness and an idle lifestyle. Murray, in Unbecoming Out, Rethinking Fat Politics, claims that in Western culture, there's a unified understanding that fat women are, quote, known to be lacking willpower, lazy, and sexually out of control, end quote. If laziness, stupidity, and gluttony have been associated with Black corpulence historically, what is the significance of seeing fat Black women in pleasure, leisure, luxury, um, sorry, pleasure, luxury, and leisure on a public platform today. In his book, Race Rebels, Robin Kelly describes the pleasures of community as places where, quote, the Black body is celebrated as an instrument of pleasure rather than an instrument of labor, end quote. Expanding upon Kelly's theories on pleasure communities, I look at what I call pleasure aesthetics, portrayed on Lizzo and Kelly's Instagram profiles. Pleasure aesthetics are visuals that depict leisure, luxury, and joy. In these visuals, there is no promotion of products or brands, and there is no direct um, connection to economic gain or labor. The subject is simply existing luxuriously and leisurely. Lizzo and Kelly utilize pleasure aesthetics to retain the negative societal and historical connotation associated with corpulent blackness and pleasure slash leisure. Further, Lizzo and Kelly are protesting the widely held belief that fat people are incomplete citizens who are economically disadvantaged and dreamy. I'll explore this point further in my full paper. Although the hard work that Ke Kelly and Lizzo are putting into their brands, music, and social media presence is evident when viewing their Instagram profiles, there's also a lot of leisure, luxury, and pleasure being depicted. In the photo below on the left, Lizzo is seen draped over the side of a pool in, palm in the Palm Desert of California. Her skin is glistening under the desert sun as she wears a bikini and large white sunglasses. She captioned the photo, quote, promoting black luxury since 88, end quote. The middle picture is of Kelly's legs popped up in bed in a relaxed position by a window. She captioned her photo, quote, how many naps did you take today, end quote. The third picture on the right is of Kelly sitting on the shore of a beach in Malibu, California, wearing a brown bathing suit. It is captioned, quote, let a wave of peace roll over you, end quote. These images and their captions depict a fat black woman taking pleasure in an act of leisure or, and or luxury. Lizzo claiming that she has been promoting luxury since her, promoting luxury her entire life as she strikes an ethereal pose portrays an awareness and liking of the quality of her surroundings. Kelly capturing herself laying in bed with a caption about sleeping or promoting peacefulness on a beach in a wealthy city like Malibu, California, glamorizes the rest and relaxation taken by a fat black woman who has historically been seen as lazy, as lazy. The laziness and penchant for pleasure that so many European theorists read as inferior on black bodies shows itself in these images as beautiful, rested, and affluent. In conclusion, both Lizzo and Kelly in their images are using visibility to challenge body image norms associated with fat black women. They refuse to be erased, mitigated, or standardized by the expectations of our cis, hetero, white capitalist society. They are forcing their viewers to confront their physical fatness and reevaluate what they associate with women who look like them. They are also redefining what it means to see fat black women in leisure and pleasure in an economic and social context. Seeing them portrayed within this pleasure aesthetic that they often benefit from financially confronts hegemonic rhetoric about the economic and social contributions of black and fat people. This is important because it troubles the boundaries of citizenship placed upon, placed upon fat black women of various socioeconomic backgrounds that limit their representations and social navigation. Lizzo and Kelly are innocuously resisting through visibility to show that being a fat black woman can be bold, fun, luxurious, sexy, adventurous, curious, personal, and above all else, varied. Thank you.